Well, a potential new threat from North Korea this morning. The International Atomic Energy Agency believes the country is preparing for a nuclear test. The watchdog says one of North Korea's passages in a known nuclear testing site underground has now reopened. If North Korea goes forward, it would be the country's first nuclear test since 2017. This comes after North Korea fired eight short-range ballistic missiles from multiple sites on Sunday. U.S. fired back. U.S. and South Korea show force saw both nations launching a collection of their own surface-to-air missiles. The U.S. and South Korea launched eight missiles in a unified show of force against North Korea's latest missile tests. Let's go to CNN Paula, CNN's Paula Hancock. She's live in Seoul, South Korea, with much more on this. Paula, what more are you learning about this? Well, Kate, this was a real tit for tat. We saw on Sunday morning local time North Korea firing eight short range ballistic missiles into the waters off the East Coast. And then in response, the US and South Korea uh, did something very similar in the early hours of Monday morning local time. Now, we heard from uh, the South Korean side, the Joint Chiefs of Staff here, saying that even if North Korea is able to fire these missiles from different locations, they said we have the ability and readiness to immediately strike with precision. So this is really a message uh, to North Korea from, from Washington and Seoul to show uh, that they would be able to strike those areas where the missiles came from if they wanted to. Now, what was unusual about North Korea over the weekend is the fact that there were eight missiles, that they were from four separate locations, and they all came uh, within about 40 minutes of each other, the firing. Japan's defense minister said that that was unprecedented. So clearly the U.S. and South Korea feeling they had to have uh, some kind kind of strong response uh, to what they said. Of course, we don't know whether this would make any difference to Kim Jong-un and his calculus. Meanwhile, the IAEA, the International Atomic Energy Agency, says that they believe that one of the entrances to the underground tunnel where nuclear tests have been carried out in the past by North Korea has been reopened potentially to prepare for a, a seventh underground nuclear test. They said if that happens, it would be a cause for serious concern. Kate? Yeah, it's very, just a really good reminder right there, Paula, of while the world's attention has moved to another part of the, another part, another region, uh, largely cannot forget to focus on what's going on with North Korea at any time. It's good to see you. Thank you very much for that update. Rena, I just want to close on what we're seeing on the Korean Peninsula right now. Ivan Watson basically, you know, trading missiles for missiles is what Ivan says right now. Ultimately, how dangerous does that get? If there's these competing missile tests between the North and the South? Incredibly dangerous because, you know, U.S., assessment is that there could be North Korea could potentially be testing nuclear weapons at any point. There have been something like 17 different launches just this year alone. And when you have this new South Korean president who's come forward and said, we're going to take a tougher stance on this. We're not going to stand for this. I mean, the, the mix of all of this, plus Biden's visit out there, a united front from them and Japan as well. It, it's not a great combination. You want a last word on Korea? No, I agree. I think that there's this is clearly a message the Korea, the, the North Koreans sent, but a stronger message, I would say, from the United States and South Korea with these joint military exercises, sending these, testing these missiles, the same number of missiles, eight missiles, right, right after North Korea tested theirs. This sends a strong miss, uh, a message both ways. And of course, what's changed now is this different position of China overlooking all of this on uh, the U.S. relationship with China in a much different place than it's Can been. I just say